Hi everyone, Vega here. In today's video we're going to be making an epic journey to the centre of Jupiter. So let's get to it. First of all, our travellers arrive having hitched a lift on a spacecraft. Our reinforced jumbo jet makes its descent through the exosphere of Jupiter that doesn't really have a defined boundary towards the cloud tops. Now our travellers arrive at the cloud tops and see swirling winds of ammonia ice and ammonium sulfide at up to 360 kilometres an hour. At this point, the temperature outside is 200 Kelvin or minus 173 Celsius. And now we dip down towards the water clouds. Here we see the water clouds floating at this point, the lightning is a thousand times more powerful than that on Earth. Let's hear some of the sounds of Jupiter at this point. As we descend through the water clouds, we reach the area of molecular hydrogen. At around one bar of pressure, we're starting to reach what some people define as a surface of Jupiter now. Our plane slowly descends through the layers. Finally, through the layers of hydrogen gases, we now reach the heavier elements of oxygen and carbon, nitrogen and sulfur, until eventually they give way to the pressures at around 6.2 bars, where hydrogen begins to turn to a liquid rather than a gas. Our, our plane now struggles to, to get any further down as its pressures inside reach equilibrium with those outside. Our journey continues into the deep, the liquids now becoming thicker and more dense. At 3,000 kilometers, the pressures reach 10 bars. Our plane is slowly reinforced and is able to combat such pressures. As our plane descends through the deep, the temperatures increase. Pressures pass 100 bars, 1,000. No lights are seen now, it's completely dark and pitch black. Our travellers begin to delve into the unknown of human exploration. From the bottom of the Marianas Trench, 1,086 bars has passed. Eventually, our travellers reach the area of metallic hydrogen, a theoretical concept unknown to other areas of the solar system. It is believed that this begins at 400 gigapascals, but we're not entirely sure. We believe that metallic hydrogen, a thick, dense, metallic-like, liquidy form, is an electrical conductor, and maybe one day we'll be able to use it as a rocket propellant. We can see our, our journey is out of control, unable to move and maneuver within the dense pressures of well over a thousand gigapascals now. 
as we descend downwards, the temperatures begin to reach 36,000 Kelvin with pressures of 4,500 gigapascals until eventually we reach what we believe is some sort of surface. It's prophesized that at some point in its history, Jupiter collided with a huge super Earth of 10 masses of Earth. And perhaps the core itself is not cylindrical. We just don't know at this point. We don't even know if there is a rocket core. What we do know is that the pressures will be intense and unbearable, possibly impossible to ever transit to. We'll have to wait and see if that's possible in the future. Thanks for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, stay tuned for further videos in the future.